Okay, so we have lots more work to do. Um, so as we get started, I think that it's time to do some work with the phone itself. We still have a lot of material to move over. You know, we've been borrowing from the, uh, the garlic and moving all this material over, and we do want to keep doing that. However, uh, I feel like we need to do a little bit of background work to uh, get some things off of the phone now. So some of the things that we're going to want to get off of the phone, you know, if you're doing this kind of work, trying to build something for, for scratch, you're going to need um, to know a lot about the file system. You're going to need to get lots of vendor material. You're going to need to get lots of configuration files. So what's one way that we can do um, that? So here we go. Let's uh, we're here in the downloads folder, and I'm just using that because it's a pretty handy little folder to put stuff in. I'm going to make dir, and we'll just call it um, blue phone. We'll cd into that blue phone. So just an empty directory for us to work with here. So if we use adb and we go shell, here we are on the Life One X. And so let's cd to SD card. And we take a look at what's on the SD card. Not a whole lot. Some folders and whatnot that are typical for Android. Um, Super Sue that I had used to, uh, you know, flash through twerp to root the device, that sort of thing. Of course, if you're doing work like this, uh, um, you know, you don't have twerp or something like that, whatever method you use to root the phone, that's great. You really should make some backups. And we're going to look at that in just a minute as well. Even without twerp, as long as you have root, you can make some backups. So uh, one of the first things we're going to need is to look at the kernel. And there's two particular things that we kind of want from the kernel. So let's go to the proc directory. And this directory is full of um you know processes that are running um things that the linux kernel set up for itself now this may look a little different depending on your device um so you know this is just some of the things that we can use to help ourselves so for instance if we cat a m s g and we don't have permission, so we have to see the super users. So let's try that again. Cat KMSG. And here we see, um, you know, the kernel messages. Um, if we use DMSG, like D message, um, let's see. What am I looking for here? Um, well, we could definitely use like logcat, you know, and I do have some videos on how to pull good logcats because there's going to be a lot of information that you're going to need from there. Anytime you can press control C to stop the process. Um, a few things that we're going to want to grab from here. If you have it available, you can look for config.gz. Now, not every kernel will have this in here. Um, but in this case, it is config gz, and that uh, that's important, and this command line is important. Now, you should have command line no matter what. Also, a file that we really want in here should be called mtd, Mike Tango Delta, and I don't see that in here, so this kernel does not have that, which means we're going to have to do a lot more legwork on the file system but that's okay. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and um, do we have Zcat on here? We do. Okay, one other thing too is depending after you've used your phone, you may or may not have certain tools that we're going to be using today. If you don't have those tools, I recommend you install BusyBot, which will give you those tools. So Zcat allows us to look at something that is compressed 
like this config.gz is a zipped configuration file. So what's great is because we have this configuration file, we can see exactly what options they set in the kernel to build it for this instance. Now, again, you may not always have this file, but it's really cool if you do. So what we're going to do is we're going to key, which means I want it to display on the screen, and then I also want it to write it to a file. So I'm going to key this config.gz file, and I'm going to put that text copy of it on SD card. We'll call it kernel config.text. So it displayed on the screen here, and if we look at SD card with ls SD card, we should see, yep, there's our kernel config.txt file. So that's great. That means we just saved a copy of it on our SD card. We're going to pull that in a minute. Um, also, we can cat this uh, um, command line right here. This is the command line that was run when starting or booting the system. And this is something we're going to need to put into our file as well. So we're going to key that to our SD card, and we'll call this um, kernel command line dot text. OK, so it's displayed here, and we saved it over there. So those are two really important things that we need. And now we're going to grab some more things. Um, so one of the big things that we're going to look at in a minute is how to set up our file system. And to set up our file system, we have to know some things about, well, the file system of the phone. Normally, you would look for a file called MTD. And when you cat that file, it would tell you everything we possibly need to know and makes it really easy. But we don't have that file, so we have to take the long way around. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, so there's several things in here we can look at. We can cat. Um, there should be a file called partitions, and there is. So this is great. Uh, this partition tells us the major, minor, number of blocks, and name. OK? You're not really going to need the major, minor too much. But the number of blocks can be useful. We'll look at that perhaps later. And then you see all of the. Um, device. Now notice, I, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but this MMC BLK0 would be the, quote, internal SD card, right? Not, not a physical removable SD card, but the one that's built into the phone where all your stuff is stored. And then you have P1, P2, P3. These are partition 1, partition 2, partition 3, and so on and so forth. And they're not in an order that you would think. For instance, um, we're going to look at it in a second, but I have to know that partition 21 is the boot partition. Yeah, so the, the boot partition, what you would think would be maybe towards the front, is the 21st partition on there, because it doesn't really matter. So uh, lots of interesting things there to, uh, to glean. So we're going to key that to our SD card, and we're going to call it, uh, you know, um, partitions.txt, okay? So that's good. Um, we, uh, there's lots of different ways to do what we want to do, but we're going to go to the cache directory now. Um, if you're lucky, sometimes, there is this recovery folder. So we can see the end of recovery. And we look inside of there. And there's this thing called last log. Last log. So if we cat that, it has all sorts of information from the last time you used recovery. And if there isn't one, you could try going into recovery mode and coming back out and seeing if this last log gets saved. But it's got a lot of cool things. For one, here's that command line again for starting the, um, for the boot order for starting the phone. So that's really handy. Uh, it tells us uh, things like this tag is going to tell us kind of what our, our base is, which is going to be really handy later. Um, 
uh, you could see actually I did, I flashed a boot image, you know, so this here got um, written to, so you can kind of see what you did. Um, and it'll have a lot of great information in here. Um, like here's where I flashed super sue and that was actually what that boot image was. And there's actually more information. I just can't scroll up far enough to see it all. So we're going to tee that into the SD, SD card and we'll call this last log.txt. Really original naming, I know. Uh, but this is useful because we're going to be able to go and look at these things. Um, so some more stuff that we could look at, some more things that we could grab that's really going to be helpful. Um, if we uh, change directory and we're going to go to um, the device folder, right? And this has a list of all the devices. And hard drive or internal hard drive devices are block devices. So we're going to go into the block folder. And this is kind of just, you know, something that I know over time. You can look this stuff up. Uh, a little bit of experience comes into play here. So lots of good things to uh, think about or look at there. Um, what you see in here is all these, these block devices. And there's a bunch of different, here we go, folders. But this boot device folder is really what I want to focus on. So if we go into this boot device, then we see we have all these again. Oh, we have this by name and by num. So cd by name. And we look inside of there. And what do we see? We see um, DDR, a boot, boot, all these things. But I want to show you a trick. LS dash LA. And you don't use the H because I don't think Android has it. Uh, we could try. No, it doesn't have H. So LA, look at this. So we see that the boot partition is partition 21. So this is really handy because you, then you know which partition is what. And we're going to tee that SD card. And we'll call this uh, um, by name uh, text. <clears throat> so we'll save that information. Um, so now we can use tools like uh, fdisk and uh, you know like a really good one to use uh, is this dash l option because we're going to list some things. And we're in this device folder. We're looking at block devices. And we want to see so this MMC BLK0. And that, the reason I'm choosing this is device block MMC BLK0. And all of these start with that. So we want to read about that device. We want to see what's the partitions on there. And so we get this really nice table. We see the start sector, the end sector, the size really important because we're going to need that size when we tell Android how to build everything. So we're going to tee that to SD card and we'll uh, call this uh, fdisk.txt. So we're getting a lot of really, really, really great information here. Um, another thing we can look for, we'll go back here. And if we look in the root directory, maybe we'll get lucky. Now we're going to need like all of these init files. We're going to need those later. But this is what I wanted to see: fstab.qcom. This is the file system table. And when you build for an Android device, you have to make a file system table so Android knows where to put everything. So we're going to copy that fstab.qcom to the SD card. So now you can see we've got quite a few things uh, going for us on the uh, SD card. And we're going to pull all those in a little bit here. Um, so I want to show you a trick for how we can pull full partitions. So we know that partition 21 is 
the, um, you know, the boot partition. And we know that it's also, you know, um, there as the, uh, you know, uh, device block, um, boot device by name boot as well. So I'm going to show you a tool um, called Disk Destroyer, DD. Uh, and Disk Destroyer is the unofficial name. But what you can do is you can say DD, and I want to make a low level copy of something, DD input file. You know, like we're not going to take a file, but we're going to take a block device, device block um, boot device by name, name boot, and then we're going to say the output file is going to be SD card boot dot image. So if you are rooted, you can do this. We hit, we hit enter here and it's going to take a moment to think about it and it did it. Okay. Now a couple of great things. First off, it tells you the size of it um, right here uh, in blocks. Um, and that's really handy to know as well. Um, so we get that copied over. So now if we look on our SD card, we have our boot.image that we can play with. We can break it down. We can get some information out of it. A lot of really great stuff. So you can actually make backups and copy any partition you want with this. Do keep in mind, if you're saving it, to the internal storage, then if you take something that's too big, it won't fit. So for instance, if you try to back up the internal storage to the internal storage, then it isn't going to fit very well. Just something to keep in mind. So we've got this. Um, one other tool that you can use is uh, called Block Dev, Block Device, right? And there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. We'll just look at the help for a second because I don't remember all the commands off the top of my head. But uh, here we have this block device and then you can um, get different information. In particular, get the size in bytes, which will be really handy for us. So if we block dev dash get size 64, okay, and then we choose um, dev block um, boot device by name boot. It now tells us this get size of the number of bytes, size and bytes of the uh, whatever block we're looking at. Now, we already had the block size as far as the number of blocks before, and we could just do the conversion, but this is really handy just to grab just that. Um, just that. So we're going to T, and that way we don't have to convert the blocks to, to um, size. We can just take it. So we can T this to SD card. And we'll call this um, boot size bytes dot text. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, recovery. Recovery. And we'll call this re whoops, recovery. Okay. So we saved all that information and. It looks like they're the same, but we'll do uh, we'll do a few more here. We'll do user data, right? So that's going to be important. User data. There we go. So it is a different number, so it wasn't just tricking us here. And system. And there we go. So now we've got some really good information to work with. Um, and you can actually use this uh, DD to also grab like the recovery. And there's lots of tools that you can use to break those down. A lot of really great stuff out there. So we are now going to 
exit out of here. We're going to exit out of here, and we are going to ADB pull SD cards. And I want to pull everything in the SD card to here. SD card. There we go. Need that forward slash on there. So now you can see it's pulling, pulling my wallpapers or whatever that's in the SD card. I'm going to get a little more information than I really wanted, but it'll be easy enough to delete this stuff later. So let's jump in to download Blue Phone. We see it's copying the pictures. We've got some wallpapers that are being copied here. Um, you know, nothing too exciting there. Picture number 17 apparently is really big, taking a little while to copy. And actually, for the sake of time, what we can do is we'll cancel that. I'm going to delete these. We don't need them. ADB show. Oops, I spell it right. CD SD card. I'll add. And let's uh, remove a bunch of this junk. So um, remove dash RF, and we're going to delete alarm. And we'll delete DSIM and download and movies and music and pictures. All right, we'll do it as root move our app pictures. Oh, well, let me do it. Okay. Well, that is interesting. Wonder why. png. Odd. Okay. Well, I don't know why those aren't deleting. Maybe we didn't save any time. So ADB. Oops, exit. A to B, let's pull a C card and uh, we'll pull. Um, I don't think we can wild card when we're using A to B. No. Okay. So we'll just pull the ones we want then because we're just wasting time. So it should take that a minute to uh, copy. That's going pretty slow. <clears throat> Something does not appear to be right there. Let's take a look. Let's delete that. Let's uh, let set the phone for MTP and see if we can't just pull the stuff. Let's try that. Does not appear to be working. Uh, cancel. 
All right, let me use this pair. B shell. We'll cheat here. Copy. the SD card, and we will copy everything dot text to SD card um, picture, and we will copy our boot image to SD card pictures. Um, let's show boot dot image hmm. interesting. I don't know why we're having so much trouble with this, but we'll just copy that boot dot image over to SD card pictures. Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't seem to like that boot image that I made for some odd reason. So let's CD into SD card picture and we'll make a new one. CD input file equals device block boot by name boot output file equals um, boot dot image. Strange. Okay. Hmm. Let's move boot dot move boot dot image to boot boot dot png. Even though that's not really true. And then we'll copy boot dot png to pictures. I don't want to let it go. Weird. Okay. I don't know what the problem is here. All right. We'll put it in DSIM. How about that? Okay. So let me <clears throat> set the phone up here. Well, that's a little frustrating. It's not showing any of the stuff in there. Okay, well. All right. Let's see card. Picture.
this is actually getting kind of annoying. All right, so I don't know why this isn't working. Let me try, I'm gonna shut down the virtual machine, start back up and see if I can't get it to work a little better here. Maybe I can just unplug the phone completely. Try that. All right, I'm gonna shut this thing down and see if that helps. Okay, so we finally got those files downloaded with the exception of that boot um, image. And I don't know why that wouldn't copy properly. We'll have to look at that in a little bit. But here we go, we've got a lot of great um, information in here. So, um, you know, we can look at our by name text, we've got our FDISC output, um, our file system tab going on. So lots of really great information that we're gonna need in a little bit. So what I wanna do with this, is I'm going to make a new folder. We'll call this SD card, okay? We're gonna put all of this stuff in the SD card folder. And we're gonna make a, um, make a directory. Oops. We're gonna call it uh, etc. Actually, we'll just call it, uh, we'll, we'll make one called system. So another thing that you can do is you can use this A to B pull and you can pull um, pretty much anything this might take a moment to think about. But by pulling this information, you can actually get a lot of the files that we're gonna need um, over time. Maybe. Might be asking for too much at once. Let's ADB shell and CD system. What we got here, what we want is we'll just see the index system and we will A to B pull system. We want to pull ETC. To here. So we're pulling everything out of the ETC um, folder and putting it in here. And this is gonna contain a lot of the configuration files that we need. Um, like here we go, we've got Bluetooth, 
So we've got the configuration files for the Bluetooth of what's working with this. We have, you know, um, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of different files here that I think are going to be pretty handy. Some of this stuff is going to be useless, of course, um, but it's definitely a good place to uh, to get some of your information. And then, of course, a lot of useless information as well. Okay, so we've got some sensor configuration right here. Um, Wi-Fi stuff. That's probably going to be handy. So the great thing is you can just take this and you can actually, you know, get any information that you want. And I'm going to be getting a lot of different folders off of here. So when I'm done, I'll just have a whole bunch of folders and with a whole bunch of files in them. So I'm, for sake of brevity, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here, but just know that you can use this ADB poll and you can pull that information from there. Um, I'm also going to redo the uh, boot image because we copied that and I do want to pull that because we're going to take a look at what happens when we um, when we use that, when we break that down. So uh, be sure to tune in for that and uh, we'll uh, keep plugging away.